Branched Chain Alpha Keto Acid Dehydrogenase Complex, Wikipedia Article Audio The Branched Chain Alpha Keto Acid Dehydrogenase Complex is a multi-subunit complex of enzymes that is found on the mitochondrial inner membrane. This enzyme complex catalyzes the oxidative decarboxylation of branched, short-chain alpha keto acids. BCKDC is a member of the mitochondrial alpha keto acid dehydrogenase complex family comprising pyruvate dehydrogenase and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, key enzymes that function in the Krebs cycle. This complex requires the following five coenzymes. Coenzymes Biological function In animal tissue, BCKDC catalyzes an irreversible step in the catabolism of the branched chain amino acids L-isoleucine, L-valine, and L-leucine, acting on their demonat derivatives. In bacteria, this enzyme participates in the synthesis of branched, long-chain fatty acids. In plants, this enzyme is involved in the synthesis of branched, long-chain hydrocarbons. The overall catabolic reaction catalyzed by the BCKDC is shown in Figure 1. The mechanism of enzymatic catalysis by the BCKDC draws largely upon the elaborate structure of this large enzyme complex. This enzyme complex is composed of three catalytic components, alpha-keto acid dehydrogenase, dihydrolipoyl transacylase, and dihydrolipomide dehydrogenase. In humans, 24 copies of E2 arranged in octahedral symmetry form the core of the BCKDC. Non-covalently linked to this polymer of 24 E2 subunits are 12 E1 alpha 2 beta 2 tetramers and 6 E3 homodimers. In addition to the E1 slash E3 binding domain, there are two other important structural domains in the E2 subunit, a lipoil bearing domain in the amino terminal portion of the protein and an inner core domain in the carboxy terminal portion. The inner core domain is linked to the other two domains of the E2 subunit by two interdomain segments. The inner core domain is necessary to form the oligomeric core of the enzyme complex and catalyzes the acyl transferase reaction. The lipoil domain of E2 is free to swing between the active sites of the E1, E2, and E3 subunits on the assembled BCKDC by virtue of the conformational flexibility of the aforementioned linkers. Thus, in terms of function as well as structure, the E2 component plays a central role in the overall reaction catalyzed by the BCKDC. The role of each subunit is as follows. E1 uses thiamine pyrophosphate as a catalytic cofactor. E1 catalyzes both the decarboxylation of the alpha keto acid and the subsequent reductive acylation of the lipoil moiety that is covalently bound to E2. Structure E2 catalyzes a transfer of the acyl group from the lipoil moiety to coenzyme A. The E3 component is a flavoprotein and it reoxidizes the reduced lipoil sulfur residues of E2 using FAD as the oxidant. FAD then transfers these protons and electrons to NAD and to complete the reaction cycle. E1 subunit As previously mentioned, BCKDC's primary function in mammals is to catalyze an irreversible step in the catabolism of branched-chain amino acids. However, the BCKDC has a relatively broad specificity, also oxidizing 4-methylthio-2-oxybutyrate and 2-oxybutyrate at comparable rates and with similar Km values as for its branched-chain amino acid substrates. The BCKDC will also oxidize pyruvate, but at such a slow rate this side reaction has very little physiological significance. The reaction mechanism is as follows. 
Please note that any of several branched chain alpha keto acids could have been used as a starting material, for this example, alpha ketoazovalerate was arbitrarily chosen as the BCKDC substrate. Step 1, alpha ketoazovalerate combines with TPP and is then decarboxylated. The proper arrow pushing mechanism is shown in figure 3. E2 subunit Step 2, the 2-methylpropanol TPP is oxidized to form an acyl group while being simultaneously transferred to the lipoil cofactor on E2. Note that TPP is regenerated. The proper arrow pushing mechanism is shown in Figure 4. E3 subunit Step 3, acyl group transfer to COA. The proper arrow pushing mechanism is shown in Figure 5. Mechanism Step 4, Oxidation of the lipoil moiety by the FAD coenzyme, as shown in Figure 6. Step 5, Reoxidation of FADH2 to FAD, producing NADH. Disease Relevance a deficiency in any of the enzymes of this complex as well as an inhibition of the complex as a whole leads to a buildup of branched chain amino acids and their harmful derivatives in the body. These accumulations lend a sweet smell to bodily excretions, leading to a pathology known as maple syrup urine disease. This enzyme is an autoantigen recognized in primary biliary cirrhosis a form of acute liver failure. These antibodies appear to recognize oxidized protein that has resulted from inflammatory immune responses. Some of these inflammatory responses are explained by gluten sensitivity. Other mitochondrial autoantigens include pyruvate dehydrogenase and branched chain oxyglutarate dehydrogenase which are antigens recognized by anti-mitochondrial antibodies. Thiamine pyrophosphate, flavin adenine dinucleotide, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, lipot, coenzyme A.